This is my 40th harvest with Corbell, and we have approximately 400 acres here in Sonoma County and another uh, 528 acres in Yolo County. Well, you have to take care of the land that's take care of you. Farming here along the Russian River, it presents its challenges. The biggest challenge probably we have is PD. All the uh, host plants that the sharpshooter loves live along the river there. We probably got the highest pressure of PD uh, in the West County. You know, you expect some mortality in older vineyards. What's really discouraging to me is when you have a PD symptoms in a new vineyard. You know, here's a classic example of a vine that was replanted four years ago and just starting to come into production that's showing some possible signs of PD right here already. So, you know, maybe not get no production off that after four years. We're at about 25 grand an acre. You know, that's just for the development. That's not land cost. Here's one that's showing symptoms of PD. The petioles that have dropped leaves, that's real symptomatic. That one you can pretty much say for sure. Close proximity to replant, so most likely, you know, transfer vine to vine. If the vector fed on that this spring and then jumped to this and fed on it, that one's infected. Standard procedure was just, you know, when the vine showed symptoms, cut it off, rogue it out, replant it. Just a continuous cycle of roguing vines and replanting. Let's think about the treatments over the years. Just trying to stop the vector. Spraying weeds uh, or host plants in the riparian areas, putting sticky roll tape that we put on the border, uh, soil insecticide and or foliar applications to again try and control the vector. You know, when Doug brought this to me, he didn't have to lay much of a sales pitch on. I mean, we were on board to give it a shot right out of the gate. Um, I think the thing that is so exciting about working with the Fage is this is our first time that we're really treating the bacteria rather than the vector or a host right. plant. I mean, that, right. that's what's that's, so exciting that's and what's so exciting. promising. That's a game changer because then, then we won't be Rogan vines out anymore. You know, we can we can treat the vine when we identify the symptoms immediately. This block K5 I planted in 95, here we are, we're, shoot, we're several hundred yards away from the river, but we got a hot spot here, a PD vines that have been replaced. We're seeing what we assume is transmission vine to vine. Uh, with the strategy we came up with was that we're gonna treat the replants and then a vine next to any replant. So either in row or you look across also. Based on the look of this vine, this is a cane that was laid down last year, but you know, that vine, unfortunately, probably won't make it to the 2021 season because it's infected. Again, right next to two right next, earlier yeah, infected right vines. Right next to two, three. And across, yeah. And across three vines. And two here. In this block, we're treating 34% of the vines. The young vines are getting two injections and the older vines are getting four injections base and at the, at the base of the cordon. Given the pressure with the Russian River here on two sides, we were trying to do a prophylactic treatment, uh, treating close to the repairing areas with the idea and hope that when the sharpshooters are bringing the bacteria into the vine, into the vineyard, they'll feed on first the vines that have the phage and hopefully it won't go any further. So it's 12 rows on the parallel vines and 15 vines in from the point rows. Well, we trained the guys to do two injections uh, at the base of the vine. They picked it up right away and um, really had no problem. Two guys, three days to get through those 4,500 vines. This is a, a 30 acre block and we ended up treating what, roughly four acres out of the 30. With John's uh, interest and cooperation, we plan on carrying this into next year. Yeah. Uh, and potentially the year after as we get good results. Right. Yeah. Do what we got to do to control this thing.